Hey, hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing a gel mani. We're gonna be working with nail reserve today and this is in the color Sweet Satfire. And then we are gonna be using Sea, Swing, and Sun for like one of our main color. So I wanted to do a blue and rose gold mani. So I'm actually gonna be using this. This is actually a sheet of foil and we're gonna be using that on our nails. Um, we are going to be doing some nail art with these brushes. These are from Triple D. This is how they look like. I think I'm actually going to be using the shorter um, brush. But I'm also going to go ahead and show you guys this brush. I'm going to be using this one to clean up my, my cuticle area. Now before starting any gel mani, I do recommend you using a gel base. But I actually have peel base on, so I'm going to be using that under my gel mani today. And for our lamp, we're going to be using our Triple D lamp as well. All right, you guys, so let's get started with our Manny. So again, this color right here is called Sweet Satfire, and it is a blue base color, but it has like tons of shimmer in it. And the shimmer as well is also blue. So it literally almost looks kind of like reflective. Um, I am gonna be doing two full coats on my thumb, pointer, and my pinky. So you guys, I wanted to explain how I apply my gel. So when I grab product on my brush, I actually kind of push the product towards my cuticle area and then kind of drag the color down. I don't know, I always apply gel this way. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way, but I just like the the way it looks when it's like super close to the cuticle. Kind of like those, um, I don't know if you guys seen it before, but those Russian manicures, you guys, those are like so flawless. And that's basically the look that I'm trying to go for. So I'm kind of like pushing the product with my brush up towards my cuticle area and then dragging the gel down. Now I did get a little bit of product on my finger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my napkin. I'm going to squirt some alcohol and get my brush kind of a little bit wet kind of so it can be more manual. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that brush to clean anywhere where I don't want the gel to be. You guys, you want to do this before you actually cure the nail because once you cure the nail, it's kind of like stuck in place. And if you're really sensitive to gel um, or you're like finding out that you're sensitive to gel, you kind of don't want to get it on your skin. It just may cause more irritation than it has to be. Even if you're not allergic to gel and you still get it on your skin, it's kind of like a pain in the butt to get it cleaned off. So yeah, you guys just, you know, take your time with gel. Since you have to cure it under a lamp, you kind of have a lot more time to kind of I guess manually maneuver the gel where you want it to be and you have a lot of time to clean up so you know just take your time All right, you guys, so now we're ready to do our pointer and our pinky. And I'm basically going to go ahead and just follow the same steps. I'm going to go ahead and push the product up towards my cuticle and kind of flow it down to my free edge or kind of like drag it down. I'm not putting too much pressure, by the way, when I drag it the product down, only because um, since gel kind of self-levels, which by the way, nail reserves definitely self-level. So you don't need that much pressure to kind of like drag the product where you need it. Um, so you guys just really quick if you guys are interested on in getting anything from nail reserve They used to be called nail addict, but they're doing rebranding. So they're now um, known as nail reserve I'm gonna go ahead and put their Instagram down below, but I do have a code with them It's just Shay s-h-e-i and you can get 50% off any um, Two or more bottles and I would def definitely recommend them because they're uh, all their gels I've used it's super pigmented. I only have to do um, two coats of them and I have not found not one color that I didn't like from them um, The only thing I would say though their gel top coat is not a no white top coat um, So that's like the con for me, but it's still pretty shiny and just know that uh, again When you use the gel top coat, you still have to do some alcohol to remove that um, ta that tacky layer
So I'm going to go ahead and apply my second layer of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch and then I'll pop back in before we start on the other nails. All right, so now we're ready to do our middle finger and our ring finger. So this one we're going to be using C, Swing, and Sun. Um, so this is a sheer nude, you guys. And I didn't know it was a sheer nude. I just got it because it was a nude and I thought it was going to be opaque. But I actually love that it's sheer because it's literally the perfect base for when you do nail art. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab another one of these when I go shopping again. Um, because this is like my favorite sheer nude. Now you guys, quick tip when you're working with gels you always want to make sure that you're doing them in thin layers and you also want to make sure that you're doing either 30 second or a full 60 second cure of course depending on your lamp sometimes you can be up to 90 seconds unless of course you're just doing a quick flash cure only because you want to go ahead and make sure that each layer is completely cured all the way through before you add another layer but again make sure that you're working with thin layers because if you start doing with like thicker layers thinking you're going to get more coverage the lamp is not going to penetrate through the layers and you're actually going to get like a gummy feeling to the nail and it's actually not cured all the way and it's actually not good for your nail so um yeah make sure you're working with thin layers All right, you guys, so I couldn't find my palette, so we're going to go ahead and use this top tin that I just found. So I'm going to put some of that um, Sweet Sapphire down because we're going to go ahead and use that for our nail art. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Triple D brush. So again, we're using the shorter brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and put it in that little bit of alcohol that I had kind of to make it more malleable. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my brush is completely coated with the product. Now, I actually didn't have like any rhyme or reason of how I wanted to look like. I just know that I wanted um, one nail to look one way and I was just going to do the opposite on the other. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing like random shapes kind of thing to this nail. And uh, I keep going back to grab some more product because I'm actually going to just do one layer of this. So I wanted to make sure that it's opaque enough and um, all the shimmers are in the right place kind of thing. So right now I'm actually just filling in that random blob shape that I just made.
Now, since I'm setting it to place, I'm only doing a 10 to 50 second flash here because again, I'm just setting the gel in place because I actually want to go ahead and do my other nail before I do a full cure. So again, you guys, I just want to go ahead and do uh, the opposite of what I did on my middle finger. So I went towards the top of the nail this time for my ring finger and again, just did those random swirly lines and kind of just fill in the blanks so i'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch this one and we're going to go ahead and do a full cure after we're done and then we're going to go ahead and move on to add to those flakes All right, you guys, so now we're ready for our 60 second cure. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sheet of flake. And this one is super sensitive. I don't know if all like sheets like this are really super sensitive like this, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a napkin and I'm gonna help um, break it down with my tweezers. And then what I'm gonna do, since my nail is still tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and grab just like the random pieces and kind of follow that swirly line that I made and place all the flakes that I want, like right there where it meets the nude color and that blue shade. Now, if you guys have some flakes like this laying around, I know that I have like a different type of flake and it's basically kind of like this. It's like really sensitive and any way you touch it, they kind of like break down into smaller pieces. Um, since you're doing it on gel though, what I would recommend is probably having like a little alcohol on the side because it once you get the flake and it falls in a place where you don't want it you either have to scrape it off with a tweezer or get like an alcohol with that little cleanup brush and kind of just like take it off um i did have to do that once um i didn't show it on camera because i was actually off off camera when it happened but that's how i did it i actually scraped a little bit off with my tweezer and then i used a little bit of alcohol to kind of just like rub it off in that area that i didn't want it all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the middle finger. Again, we're gonna go ahead and trace that swirly part and um, yeah, fill in the space. Now, after applying the flakes to where you want them, I do recommend you also patting them down um, just to make sure that they're flat before you get your top coat ready. So make sure that you pat the flakes down before you move on. Okay, so this is how we're looking like so far. And now we are ready to do our top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my thumb first. You guys, I do my thumb first because of the way I cure it in the lamp. Now I have a lamp where you can put all five fingers in it, but when you're doing with gel, sometimes it starts to kind of droop on one side once you put your, like all five fingers in and they're all wet. Um, so I just like to do my thumb separately. I've always did it this way. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. 
And I'm only gonna do a 30 second cure only because I'm gonna keep returning my hand back into the lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on my pointed finger and my pinky. I'm gonna do another 30 second cure and then we're gonna go ahead and do our uh, middle finger and our ring finger and then we're gonna do a full cure. All right, and like I said earlier, you guys, this is a um, no, no wipe top coat. <laughs> what I mean is it's still a tacky layer there. So I'm taking some alcohol and I'm kind of just wiping off that tacky layer. Now I am actually ready for some cuticle oil. You don't have to do this part. You can totally skip it, but I always do it for every mani. So I'm going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil. All right, you guys, and this is our final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see your manis. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.